Hello again, everyone. It's me playing Minecraft. I've it's come to my attention, probably to yours beforehand, because you're probably way more attentive than me, like everybody else on the planet, that most of our progression now rests on the idea of being able to get a mob farm going. Um, now, the pink slime that we had uh, required previously, slime, uh, like we saw, there was no recipe for a pink slime ball. <clears throat> Excuse me. <coughs> there is a recipe for pink slime itself. Uh, cow result? <laughs> no. Um, yes, the, the pink slime bucket, blah, blah, blah. Who cares about that? The point is, pink slime comes from the slaughterhouse. Mob slaw... Uh, factory? Probably this one? I believe that's right. Uh, let's see if there's anything else that says slaughter in it. Can't spell slaughter without laughter. Uh, I think this is the one. So this, two iron swords, two iron axes, redstone and plastic. Plastic, dry rubber. <clears throat> However, no, I was going to say maybe there's a, a, a or dictionary thing. Dry rubber, factorizer, tiny dry rubber, okay. Not quite sure how to get that. I think this might come from latex. <clears throat> because you can make a latex bucket. Uh, and if we have a look at the uses of latex. Uh, again, I'm sure there's more stuff you can do with this stuff. Because there's a latex processing unit. It's possible that industrial foregoing is not uh, properly integrated with uh, NEI or JEI or whatever we got here. I'm fairly sure the latex processing unit makes plastic. The way we make latex is uh, there's a thing from industrial or going which chops up wood. So what we're going to be doing is plonking down a piece of wood and then chopping it up with the wood thingy. Is it, does it have wood in the name, please? No, of course it doesn't. Uh, Tree, tree chomper? Tree fluid extractor. That will give us latex. <clears throat> so we put these around a piece of wood in the world. It sucks latex out of it. And then we process that and turn it into plastic. So first thing we're going to want to do is create a mob farm so that we can have things like uh, ender pearls and, and that sort of thing. So I'm thinking uh, we need to make this place way bigger, as I already mentioned. But for now, I kind of just want to... Let's start, uh, let's start a digging this way. I made stone... Hang on. I made stone torches for going up there. You can't really see on the map how far we've been. Uh, and I'm not going to walk all the way up there to show you, but we've got to level approximately 120 or so, and then my uh, hammer here broke. So... Oh, by the way, now it's dead easy. If we have a look at this... Um, if we... See, that's full. That's full. If we take this... Immediately, cobblestone goes into there, which means it starts melting down again, and that has already replaced the bucket of horse, a bucket of lava that I took out of it a while ago to make a bit more obsidian. But you can see that the uh, hammer here has only been maybe a quarter filled up as a result of me fixing it with a single piece of obsidian. So that's not great. It's not terrible, but it's not great either. Um, we'd like the lag to stop. A weird tick lag going on. We may be about to crash, <coughs> um, so I guess we'll see. I don't know what is happening. That's still working. Let's see if a block update will help. Yeah, that seems to have worked. Just got a little bit lagged out. That happens sometimes. Don't worry about it. It's Minecraft. It's heavily modded Minecraft as well, so that's okay. Uh, I've got a bucket of lava, but not a bucket of water in there. That's strange. Water seems to be broken. Work now? Yeah, there we go. Uh, so we're going to fix this um, hammer. I'm going to dig out some more stuff down here. And yeah, so these, these torches are for, uh, for going up there with. So I'm going to make some wooden torches to populate the rest of the place with. There's so many options for, <clears throat> um, for, for, for light in this place. Uh, it, we don't have to rely on torches. And I'm not going to for the very long at all, really. Uh, if we have a look at uh, Project Red, that's 
got some really nice lamps in it. <clears throat> Not just these uh, coloured lamps from just, I think, straight up redstone and a bit of this Illumar stuff, which is glowstone and a colour. Uh, but these coolly shaped ones, which are all different colours. I don't think Minecraft supports coloured light even now, 2019, but you can have coloured lights which do cast light, and you can turn these on and off with redstone. So some things that we're really going to want to be doing, which is going to be really cool, is to use all this red al these alloy wires here. Um, this stuff is uh, dead easy. The alloy ingot is red iron compound. It's also, should be a way of, yeah, alloy smelter. Uh, oh, okay, fair enough. Yeah, it's just redstone and iron. So these, redstone and iron, and you can put them all over the walls and stuff, and, and you can color the the wires as well and then the wires can con correspond to the lamps and look we've got these uh, cage lamps and w these fallout lights as they're called so we can have different colored lights meaning different colored things all over the base we don't have to have torches but we'll get to that because we don't have very much redstone and a lot of the things that we're going to want are gated behind a mob farm so i'm going to go off camera dig out this area uh, make a bit of a sort of a dungeon type area because uh, I'm going to try and keep in mind the fact that this is going to be way bigger when we finish, but <laughs> you never know. Um, and I will come back with a space somewhere that I've thought about a little bit deeper than I have just now for uh, mob farming, and I'll see you then. Hello, it's me again. I'm just going to move my microphone. If that's a horrible noise, I apologize. Uh, I'm going to waste some of my precious, precious resources on a very cool item that I learned from one of Direwolf's videos. <clears throat> which is, uh, well, I'll show you what it is, because it's here. Look, it's time in a bottle. I'm going to get this early because of the simple reason that the longer you have it, the better it is. Uh, do I still have my glass? No, I think I used it all up, actually. Um, what time in a bottle does is, as you... Uh, whilst you hold it, it accumulates time. <clears throat> and then you can use that time to speed up blocks that do stuff. A good example would be the smeltery over here or even the uh, the casting basin because it's a tick accelerator and what that means is that it accelerates the speed at which ticks are processed in game for the block that you put it on and it doesn't last forever and the more times you click it uh, the more you get the um, ooh, that's cool uh, the more times you click it the more yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, acceleration you get from it. So, uh, just watch. It's going to go up slowly. It's currently storing several seconds. It has to be in your inventory for it to uh, accumulate time, but there's information. This item allows you to accelerate the rate of its blocks. Tick. Passively collects time while you're in First click requires 30 seconds, the second 60, the third 120, the fourth 240, and the fifth 480. So you can uh speed up the block incrementally up to five times which will take 480 seconds plus 240 plus etc the effects last 30 seconds and the ticks double with each click so if you really really want to you can go completely nuts on the block and get it to finish immediately well not immediately but you get the idea it's a it's a goodly amount of speed up Put these where they belong uh, and, and having it in your inventory for a long time is going to be helpful in the future because we're going to want to do things on camera that take a while, like smeltering stuff. Oh, one more ingot of gold in there. Hello. Uh, so having a bunch of time in our time in a bottle, also you'll have some idea of quite how long I've been playing the game for off camera because you can see it jump up in between episodes, but uh, or in between cuts. Uh, I'll show you what I've done. I've come down here and I've made this area. So what I was thinking is that this wall here will continue to be the wall of the main hall. I might even make the whole thing go deeper, which would be great because then we get the opportunity to build even more cool staircases and stuff. Uh, but for now, this is the shape of it. Um, you'll notice I haven't done much decoration either. That's because I don't have the materials, which is a thing we're going to have to uh, address at some point soon. But this room here... Oh, it's 10 o'clock. This room here is dark and mob spawny, as long as there's no torch in it. Torch there turns everything off, which means a... Uh, a light there with redstone will turn everything off as well. Um, my plan is to put a hopper here and then a mob grinder type spike thingy here and then all the drops will land on the hopper and then the hopper will feed into a chest which I'll be able to access here. 
What that is going to require is something to pass from one to the other. That may simply be a second hopper. That's probably the easiest thing to do there. So two hoppers there and then a chest here. Uh, or, or, or probably, um, what's it called? A crate? Do we have crates? Yes. Small storage crates. So these are huge. Look, quote, small. Uh, there's medium and large ones as well. So you can actually uh, increase the size of them. But they're huge to begin with. And, and I'll show you that at some point. And then from here, we can start expanding into automating this thing. We're going to have to get into a lot more automation than we already have. Um, because things are currently quite boring. For example, we have all this lava. We should be able to automate the smeltery. Now, that would, of course, require a lot of fluid dots to get from here to over there. That's okay. We could also automate creation of obsidian to help me repair my hammer, which is something I'm probably going to try and do right now. To automate obsidian, you need a thing from thermal expansion called the... What's it called? It's the, the magmatic... Magmatic... Oh, igneous. Igneous extruder. Igneous... This igneous extruder here is a machine flame, it's machine frame glass. It's some redstone, it's some copper, uh, it's some gold. And the machine frame is iron, glass, tin. Tin. Uh, I'm pretty sure there's more than one tin gear. Does this change? Let's have a look. Tin gear. There is one from thermal foundation and one from thermal foundation. Oh, it's plat platinum. Yeah, okay, very funny. Uh, which is a stone gear, which is stone. So with a bunch of stone, tin, iron, we have enough tin? Plenty of tin, plenty of iron. I've got a whole stack down here. Uh, and some golden redstone. And redstone. We should be able to make the majority of what we need here for an igneous extruder. Now an igneous extruder, oh, copper too. Given a supply of... Um, given a supply of water and lava will produce obsidian given a supply of just water will produce can produce co uh, cobble can it produce cobble I think it can produce cobble it's basically a cobble gen but if you want to consume the lava it's also an obsidian gen so that's really cool so the machine frame is a tin gear which is a stone gear which we can do machine frame is a tin gear which we can do Machine frame is it's glass as well. Actually, we need some more glass. Let's get some. It's all of this. <laughs> Ooh. Can I, can I, can I... You have to hit the front of it. That makes sense. We'll put that in there to cook. Uh, the machine frame now requires glass, so we also want one of these. We need two redstone and one gold. I got that the wrong way around. One of these per lees. We also need uh, two copper gears, which is presumably a stone gear. So we want two more of those. Whoops. Let's uh, recipe those. Thank you. And then two of these. More copper. Oh. Ah. Geologically mechanical. I see. Uh, one more copper gear, please. I can't see what I'm doing, so that's why I'm... Faffing around trying to press the right buttons. Uh, to Invar. How's this doing? This is cooked in the time it took us to do that. Grand. And then we can make this. Yes. And then we can make this. Yes. So we have uh, Igneous Extruder. Now, the cool thing about this is that it doesn't require any power, as far as I remember. I'm just going to whack it here. It's going to fill up with lava. And then we just need a source of water. Source of water. Well, there's one right here, but I'm not going to use that. I'm going to use is a sink. Sinks are cool too. Uh, iron terracotta is just cooking clay, so we can do that. One, two, three, four, five. Cook those up, and we want three pieces of iron and a bucket of water. Bucket of water. Not from here. That's a bad place. Once we've got a bucket of water from this infinite water source, we can um, just make more buckets of water from the sink. The sink is just an infinite water source just for us. Uh, can you cook faster, please? We've got six minutes in here, so we could make this cook faster, but it's nearly finished. If we wanted to not, like, fill in the time by waffling on, we could quite easily um, do that that way instead, by speeding it up. Um, I think what we can do is just put this here. The, well, uh, hang on. Basalt? No. Cobble? No. Stone? No. Obsidian? Yes. 
So, uh, ignored, so there's an augmentation. We have to upgrade it to make augmentation work, but we can do an auto input. So shift click that and then click that and now blue comes in from the bottom. That's the bottom, that's the back. Uh, these are the options, by the way. So nothing, nothing can go in that side. Blue can go in that side. Orange can go in that side or out of that side. You can't uh, input into the output. And then uh, everything can go in that side or everything can go in. I'm not quite sure what the difference between those two is. Uh, so we want blue in that side and blue in this side. We also want auto input unavailable. So this isn't going to work. That's okay. We have an alternative, uh, which is to put the sink probably here. So if you put <clears throat> uh, fluid ducts next to each other and they connect, uh, we don't have to make, make a wrench. Let's make a crescent wrench. You can disconnect them. Crescent hammer, I think it's called, which is tin and iron. Do we have that on us? Yes. Uh, so we can make one of these. This will help us because um, you can use it to pick these up. You can use it to, for example, turn that connection off. And now I have to turn it back on again. There we go. Uh, which means that if we want to <clears throat> uh, harden fluid up, we could use a not hardened fluid up for this quite happily. In fact, let's do this. Because this way we can uh, avoid connecting them 100%. But we don't have to, basically. So which is the back? Where is this facing? I think it's facing this way. I don't know. <clears throat> is that the front? Is that the actual front? It might be, yes. So let's rotate it. Just a simple right click will rotate it here. <clears throat> My voice is getting a bit croaky. I apologize. And I'm going to keep doing this hum thingy to try and clear my throat. But that's obviously probably more... <laughs> Or, uh, disturbing than I anticipated. So now we should have a blue square around that. This is all designed to work together, by the way. And that's why that's the same shape as that. And then uh, we want another servo. Servo. I can't remember how it was made. Uh, let's make a hardened one. Why not? Two invar, two iron nuggets, piece of glass. That's going to be difficult because we have not yet got to the point where we're creating stone which is another thing we're going to have to automate there's so many things we need to automate right now it's kind of unreal um but we just need one piece of glass so we'll just make one piece of glass and uh remember we wanted to make the machine stonework factory which is going to the more we make the better we are really but <clears throat> it can take stone turn it into uh turn it into Gravel, take gravel, turn it into etc. etc. You get the idea. It's going to do that for us automatically. We want two iron nuggets, one piece of redstone, uh, two invar. You'll be able to make this servo here again. This this just makes it move faster. But this will mean that we've got one um, supply of water and one supply of lava basically right next to each other. So now this should be full of water. Correct. Also, it does need power. <laughs> Okie dokie. So what we also want to do is, I mean, I'd like to extract the power from this grid, but I can't remember how, so I'm not going to do that just now. Uh, we can make a, um, a magma-based generator. So if you have a look at lava, you can see that if you use lava, you can put it in an ignis extruder, which we know. There's a magmatic dynamo, which is from thermal expansion, which might be fairly easy to make, actually. Uh, let's have a look. Uh, redstone, that's silver and redstone. Invar gear, we're going to need a lot more invar, a bit more redstone. Uh, we can also put it into the magmatic generator from extra utilities which is made with way more gold uh, and a furnace generator which we have two of already so we don't need to worry about that so it's gold a bit of lava some redstone and uh bob's your uncle where did that bucket go there you are so we can take the lava from here we can probably use the crescent hammer to pick this up we cannot do the furnace oh, that's not a generator that's a not a furnace generator, it's just a generator. Can I turn... Uh, mag is it magmatic? Yes. Uh, generator is a furnace generator, which is a machine... Oh, that's a shame. And that's from what? Actually, EU2. This is Draconic Evolution. Fair enough, fair enough. That's a different thing. So uh, we're going to make this machine block, which is iron, redstone... Oh, have we got enough redstone? We might just about have enough redstone, so let's give it... A flipping good go. Iron, redstone, and... Uh, excuse me, what? Uh, nope. A chest. 
You can make chests. The other thing I was going to do is make hoppers, of course. I got a little bit distracted. <laughs> I was going to say, where's the rest of my wood? There's wood there. That's fine. Um, we want a couple of hoppers as well. One of them we should probably turn into another bonsai tree, to be fair. Um, but we'll do that in a minute. So this. I guess there's four machine frames. We have a bunch of machine frames. I forgot. That's okay. As soon as I saw that they stacked, I realized I already had some. That's a, that's a right palaver, isn't it? I will take this. don't need it anymore. Did you just turn into... No, you had... Okay, good. Uh, so you're going to be a bunch of gold and the bucket of love. Got gold. What else was there? Two redstone. Do we have... In... Yeah, we've got redstone. Let me talk about it. Uh, got enough stuff? No. Wait, we make this first. And then we make this. And then we have a magmatic generator. Now this is going to output power for us because we have magma to put into it. It's not that greedy. So now you'll see that it's going to fill up its internal buffer with 100,000 100, RF. Uh, and the more it has in it, I think the more... Oh no, that's just the, uh, the level. Um, it is thermal expansion that reduces the draw of... Um, uh, of machines, the less they have in them, they slow down. To try and balance themselves. I don't think it's necessarily that important. So now we need to make uh, flux con flux duct. Simple flux duct, which is leadstone. See, we can transfer a thousand RF per tick, but you are producing. I don't know. <laughs> what does this mean? Four, six. I have no idea how much it's producing per tick, but it's probably way less than a thousand, so we don't need to worry about it. Uh, this is... Oh, no. We might not have enough redstone for that, because I think I took it all. Yes. We've only got three. All right, well, we need lead. We've got lead. So maybe we uh, put this back in here. This is a good time to now go sifting again, so off camera. I'm afraid I'm going to have to beat up even more cobblestone, make even more of these. This is another thing we really need to automate, which is the uh, automated, automatic, the sieve. Uh, there is an automated sieve, auto heavy sieve, that's probably what we want, which is a heavy dark oat sieve. Two blocks of steel, two more pieces of steel. It's a lot of steel. This is just iron, but it's just a sieve. Thing is, there's no point having an automatic sieve unless you have an automatic supply of the stuff you want to put in the sieve. Right? <laughs> uh, do you know what? Let's, um, let's work on our mob farm for now. This is fine. We don't need the obsidian right now. We'll put that on hold until I've got some more redstone. One of the main reasons we want the obsidian is that we can go to the mining dimension and because it's going to um, fix our hammer. So let's work on our mob farm slightly because we might as well just carry on with what we were doing. I would like some hoppers. I want two hoppers. I'm going to make... Th oh, I've got enough for three. Uh, I want three hoppers because I also want a hopping uh, bonsai pot, which is a bonsai pot, which is bricks. Any bricks? Three bricks. So I need two more. Okay, yes. Go in there. Um, the hoppers themselves... I think item interface. don't know what that does. Uh, are going to go into the mob farm and then we're going to have a crate crate is a whole bunch of wood four more chests traps and a wood casing uh, traps ch 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 planks and a wood casing which is sticks even more wood and a piece of wood so it's a whole bunch of wood we have got a whole bunch we might have enough wood actually let's go and grab the sticks so there's no point turning wood into sticks when we've got this bonsai tree making them for us so a small storage crate is uh yeah we're gonna have to make a few pieces of wood here probably two more Good. Uh, this, then this, then this, then this. These chests. Yep, 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 yep. I remember. Four chests, so one of those, and then that's that. So we've got quest completed, small. Ah, a quest. Hooray! Of course we we're going to do that because we needed to do that. We should now have our bricks ready. Which means we can make our hopping bonsai thingy. Uh, go with a piece of dirt in that because we have none <laughs> naturally we can 
Uh, is there any in here? Neo. Let's uh let's do one piece of wood. Uh, one piece of stone into gravel. Nope, not that hammer. That hammer. Don't really need to uh use the compressed stone hammer to do that, but it's the only one I got, so I'm gonna piece of dirt that goes in there. Bonk, and then that is gonna be exact things. Goes in there, and now we've got two bonsai trees. We've got twice the wood production, which is great. The other thing we need to do is have a nice big farm, so we're going to have to make even more space, which is why I really, 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 really would like the destruction uh, gadget thingy. So we'll put this crate down uh, like this. This is how big the crate is, <laughs> so that's going to have plenty of room in it. And of course, we've got all this wall space for extracting things into sort of a storage area of mob drops that we care about. The only other thing we need to do here is to ensure that we can actually push enemies into the spikes and then actually build the spikes. So let's get on with that. The spikes are made from... The spikes I care about, uh, there's these ones, which are block of iron and three swords, or there's this one, which is block of iron, three pieces of iron and three swords. So we might as well make the other one because I think they both have the same effect. And then I'm going to make vector plates that push the enemies into... Really running low on iron, actually, after all of that. Uh, that's not enough iron, because that's not enough for even a block. I'm going to have to create more stuff, unfortunately. So we've got this and this. Let's go back in there. So empty out our inventory ever so slightly, because it's getting a little bit OTT. You can go in there. Uh, and I, I would like to make some more drawers as well, to be honest. Um, but yeah, not right now. Put this wood back in here. Put wood in all. And of course, we want to extract from here into drawers. Well, there's so much to do. This could be a wall of drawers. I don't know. The other thing is I'm not decorating. Did I mention that? It's because we don't have any resources. We can't afford to just decorate. We're not in a time of plenty, unfortunately. Uh, so it's not going to happen for a while, alas. You can go in there. You can go in there. We should cook some more apples up. And I'm going to have to do sifting whether I like it or not, which is going to involve another compressed stone hammer and a whole bunch more cobblestone. Luckily, we can always just get a whole bunch of cobblestone if we really want to. Like that. Um, oh, we got a quest done as well. So, uh, semicolon. Compacting drawers. That's going to be good too at some point. Here we go. We've got a small storage crate. Photosensitive. We've got a generator. That's another one from, is that the, yeah, it's the same one. <laughs> Stop making generators. Can we, yeah, let's just pick this up again. Can we like smelt it down? Can we turn it into anything? We can turn it into Thorncraft stuff. There's all this. It's got iron on it. Uh, Curse of Vanishing again. We can paint it. <laughs> Why? Um. Yeah, it, it has a lot of stuff on it, to be fair. So that'll be good when we get into Thorncraft, but we're not there yet. I don't think there's anything I can do on camera for you until... Well, not quite true. I can make the vector plates for you, so let's get some rice. Only three pieces of rice in all this time. Because with, with rice, you can make slime. Uh, rice... Have a look at, well, we've got rice in our inventory. Let's press U on this. We've got four pieces, my mistake. Uh, we could do a lot with it, actually. Rice cake. Nice. Uh, da, 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 da. Somewhere in here, there's a, a, a slime ball made of rice. We also need sugar cane to make the vector plates, actually. So maybe we think about making a fan instead. Rice dough. Uh, vector, okay, vector. So these are the things that push enemies around. It's a slime ball, it's a slime ball, it's a slime ball, it's coagulated blood, slime ball. It's a rice slime ball, which is rice, dough, and water. Ah, there you go. So we're going to need a lot more of that because you need three of those to make two of those. So we need six just to make one. Right? I well, made eight, but you, you get the idea. Uh, but we have sugar. We, there's no way of getting sugar except from honey. I mean, there's things that we don't have that we can grow, but. Do you see? Uh, so, we... <laughs> there's so much to do. 
We could make a farm. We could expand this area if we really wanted to. And the other thing is we could just sort of let enemies spawn in the dark for now. So basically the way this is going to work is if uh, an item lands on this hopper, it goes into the hopper, into that hopper and should land up in here like that, which is great. But we need to make sure that the enemies die on the hopper, which means they're probably going to die here. It means they need to be standing here when it happens, which means the actual... We need that sort of arrangement, you see. Because the spikes are going to be here, pushing the enemies, which means we need this sort of arrangement because endermen won't be able to get in. Yeah? So if we have that, the spikes on the other side of this block, we can open this. Oh, thank you. Um, we need to make the spikes, which means we need a lot more iron. Uh, we need a fan or vector plates. This pushes enemies away. Redstone power. Cyclic. Or mm. well, this one, which is iron bars, iron ingots, stone. We could probably make this one. It's that we need six iron, six iron to make the iron bars. So... I think we come back next episode when I've made some more iron, some more redstone, some more everything basically. We've got this but we can't <laughs> transport the energy which is going to go into there. We've got a lot of things half made but we do not have a s solid supply of resources so that we can just make what we want when we want it. So automation is going to be key and I think the first thing we're going to have to deal with is... Uh, I'm thinking because... In order to produce all the dust and stuff that we need, it's going to be difficult because we're going to need the slime, which means we're going to need a mob farm. And if we're going to get into the industrial foregoing, we might as well get into um, the... What's the thing he called with the, the shards and the seeds? But then we might as well get into chickens. <laughs> right? Because we've got emeralds, so we can, we can... Didn't we even make a... I don't think we did. Um, we can get into chickens. We can get into blah, blah, blah. So there's a lot of options. Um, it's this with the uh, mystical agriculture. Because if you have a look at this, you can make uh, an infusion crystal. And with the infusion crystal, you can make um, essences. And then, of course, with the essences, uh, with the... Einsteinium. So if I look at the intermediate... Oh, uh, at mystical... With mystical agriculture, you can make all these seeds uh, called crafting seeds. And the crafting seeds let you create crops that grow into the the thing that you want to create. So if you like iron seed, you can make iron essence out of iron seeds, which is oh, tier three, actually. It's quite difficult. And then you get an iron crop, which you pick and you get these and you turn them into iron. So an iron seed is... Four intermediate essence plus some iron plus a tier three class class so that's four more intermediate essence which is tier two which is prudential essence which is tier one which is inferior essence which is base crafting seed which is the prosperity shards which is where we started. Uh, but if we have a look at the base, the tier one crafting seed, you can make quite a lot out of them. Uh, stone seeds, stone dirt, nature seeds. I don't know what they're used for. Uh, wood, water. So we can craft stuff zombie seeds uh just from tier one and then we can start making like leveling up to tier two which is where we, we, we wrap in prudentium and prudentium is just fair in the infusion crystal which is the thing we've already seen oh, so <coughs> excuse me there's a lot of things to do there but i think we can do that we might be able to get up to uh iron at some point but that's another way of doing it we can just grow iron and as long as we have a big enough farm, then why not? Which then makes me a little bit leery to do so because then we want to be able to just delete large sections of ground rather than digging it all out, which means then if we're not going to do that, then off camera I'm going to want my obsidian to be produced. It's going to be slow going, but at some point we will have automated at least a couple of things. So I think I'll, uh, I'll brainstorm and I'll come back with an idea. So until then, thank you for watching this episode. I hope that you have enjoyed it and I hope that you will join me in the next episode but until then once again thank you for watching and I'll see you.